Hello, it's Alan with Loud Sport Unit again. Today I'm joined by Fu Fapito, who is a sport unit operative here in the Sports Centre. He is also the head coach of the Dundalk Ravens. Thanks for joining me, Fu. Um, how have you been over the quarantine? This is the first time I've been talking to you. Oh, I'm doing good. Just waiting to get back to it. How has it been with the kids all at home, being off school and stuff? Uh, the kids are awesome. Uh, in the sense that because they help me with videos, our home videos. So, um, yeah, they're doing very good. They're keeping themselves busy. So, yeah. You're talking there about the home videos there, obviously the games and stuff that we've been uploading onto the Facebook and YouTube pages. Um, what type of games have you been coming up with? Um, honestly, any games that I could get my, uh, get my eyes on. And what I mean by that is any, um, uh, you know, anything I see around the house. Yeah. Um, if I could make up a game, I'll make up a game. It doesn't, it, it won't be at that moment, but in due time, sometimes in my sleep, I'll make up a game and then wake up and then I come up with something. But yeah, anything laying around the house, I'll come up with whatever. Whatever that's, uh, you know, fun and simple and great for the kid. Yeah. I, I, I was watching a lot of the videos and attempting a few of them myself. Um, the one I liked was the the one with the the sponge. Is it spongy? You called it, where they yes. spun the sponge of water and into the cups and try and get the cups to the end of the table. I thought that one was a very good, good one. Very good. Oh, no, I enjoyed that, especially you know it's always good, uh, especially with the lockdown that the sun was out. Now yeah. obviously the weather has changed, but uh, you know the first two three weeks the sun was out, so you know I wanted to come up with something that we could be involved with and do something outside, you know, that uh, involves water and then plus two, you, you're adding in your exercises. Yeah. You, you, had, you had them working hard. It was several times there I seen burpees and press ups and crunches coming into the games. Um, especially there was one, I, th I think it was reading the books or rock, paper, scissors as well, where they were just sitting and all of a sudden then someone was doing press ups or someone was doing burpees. How'd you come up with them games to get them active? Um, I think because we had nothing else to do. Well, the kids had nothing else to do, so they had to join the videos. But uh, they loved it. Um, again, it's whatever is laying around the house. The whole idea of the cups is, again, uh, I think it was a dream. And that if I wrote the exercises on the cups, you know, and then come up with games that way, um, you know, and then utilize it. And then, uh, yeah, that's how that came about. But yeah, no, we use anything around the house. Uh, you're talking about toilet, toilet rows, uh, marbles, um, playing cards, chalk, water. So yeah, anything, anything we find. Yeah, marbles cannon was a good game there as well. I, I seen marbles flying everywhere, trying to knock over the, the cups. But um, once again, another big creation. Is there anything that you came up with there that you were kind of thinking that you could bring into the likes of summer camps? I know we're running summer camps. Unfortunately, not this year, but usually. Is there any games that you came up with while you were at home that maybe could be transferred into the summer? Just off the top of my head, uh, Spongy is one, you know, especially if the weather's good. Yeah. You know, it's out to the pitch and play with the kids. The kids will love it, you know. Um, well, what's another one? Spinathon, in which I had the uh, cups in a circle and I spun the bottle. And then where, wherever that, uh, you know, the bottle landed on, they have to do that exercise. Uh, there's a few good games. Uh, maybe toss it up. Uh, Dushla Cetius would be one. But there's a few games there that we could use. Uh, I think we could use them all, especially in small groups. But for big groups, uh, you know, Spinathon and, and a few of those, Spongy. And, you know, a small groups, Art in the Dark, uh, maybe toss it up or Pyramid Knockdown. But any game can be utilized and used. Yeah. And, and the, art the, the art in the dark was hilarious. Poor yeah. life. Not very artistic. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. But anyway, for the, the likes of, say, throwing games and different stuff, I, I know you were using ping pong balls for a lot of it. Um, the, the throwing games obviously will come in handy for kids who do play the likes of accuracy games, throwing accuracy games. They will come in handy for kids who play basketball and other stuff that involve throwing. 
Yeah, man, because, you, uh, you know, you're working on your hand and eye coordination, you know, obviously movement, um, you know, physical exercise through simple games like that. So, yeah, I think it's great. I mean, it's good for any age. Yeah. You've been doing the videos since it seems like the, before lockdown even started, you started doing videos. And I'm sure there's that many of them you can't remember. But um, off the top of your head, is, is the one that your kids enjoyed the most? Um, I know the girls loved uh, Duchamp Cetius, in which, the, you know, X's and O's. Yeah. Um, yeah, the pyramid knocked out. I mean, there's a few. They loved them all, Good. to be honest. Especially, you know, uh, doing the videos with them. Uh, you know, oh, Dad, when is this going to be over? You know, but actually playing it, because there's so many takes, but playing it, uh, they loved it. Man, and I do think, and actually, in saying that, um, a few of the uh, the kids, their friends, their parents have sent me uh, their kids playing the games. So mm -hmm. it reach out in that sense to get to have the, the Dundalk Sports Center's Facebook page, you know, to to spread the word, spread the love of the game. And so, you know, it's, it's good in that sense. Good. Um, in terms of the phys physical activity games or the exercises that you have the kids doing, we know the spin a -ton and the ping pong ball the, where they shoot it into the cup and whatever cup it lands in, they have to do that exercise. Is there any other exercises that you think could be involved in the games. I know you did the reading book one, where they have to find the word in the book as well. Those type of games. Well, I mean, like you could use anybody could put any exercise on those cups if they wanted to. Um, you know, without with all the games that we are using or that we've made up, you know, you're using different parts of your body. You know, muscle memory, uh, hand and eye coordination, uh, teamwork. You know, uh, like I mentioned before, you know, it's 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 a challenge and within that challenge with your brain and with your, you know, your physical, uh, you know, muscles and all that, if I can say that, um, you know, in every game that they are, you know, they are utilizing their exercise and, uh, and movement. You know, movement is very, very important. Yeah. And all of them. And so, um, you know, even if you are sitting down playing a game, you're still moving your hands and, uh, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, there's different types of games that we came, uh, come up with, but um, yeah, no, uh, a lot of it is muscle memory and teamwork and communication. Uh, but most of all, I wanted to make these games to be fun because if they weren't fun, then they wouldn't work, especially uh, during during the lockdown. Yeah. I think but any. Go on ahead. No, I, what I was just saying, it was just any exercise. I just randomly put down burpees and, uh, you know, and all uh, push ups and and setups uh, just whatever you guys feel and the thing is with older uh you know the older say adults you could uh, add in a lot more you know with the planks and and all that so it's, it's whatever you guys want to use okay i think it, i think a lot of parents are str were struggling during the lockdown it's kind of easing up a wee bit now as we're speaking but um i think a lot of parents are struggling with keeping the kids active and keeping them off tablets and playing playstations xboxes just in terms of getting them active i think a lot of parents are struggling and um, in terms of some of the games that you have where people may not have all the cups or they may not have ping pong balls adapting games how do you adapt games to suit what you, the equipment you have well it's whatever's laying around the house if you take for example uh bean bags um how can you adapt that well, we just find some pair of socks, find uh, little little rocks, or even put some marbles in that, and then tie it up, and then you can toss it that way. Um, you know, there's many different ways to incorporate games. You know, and all you gotta do is just look around. People that might not know this, but there's so much so much stuff that's in your house that you can use that you don't have to go out and buy. You know, like for example, those cups that I used, and uh, you know, my kids had these uh, marbles uh, that they used to collect in, in um, how do you guys say, elementary school? Primary school. Yeah. Yeah, in primary school. And so I kept those for years. And then the idea came of, oh, what if I use that, you know, uh, in one of the games. But there's, uh, you could challenge yourself and go find anything in there. Uh, sponges, you know, if you, every house should have a sponge. Uh, they should have toilet rolls. 
but you can adapt that in many things. And all you gotta do is keep an eye on it, uh, eye out for anything you have. Silverware you can use, uh, you know, those even uh, Tupperware. There's a, you can make up games just by, uh, just by uh, you know, look around the house. And then if you don't have a certain equipment, walk around the house, you'll find something. But the best way, uh, you know, as far as, like I said about uh, bean bags, if you don't have that, then find a pair of socks and some rocks and there you go. Perfect. In terms of now moving forward a little bit, we're going to go more sports specific with your food. Um, obviously as head coach of the Dundalk Ravens, is there anything that say an athlete or a young athlete could be doing while they're at home to keep improving say their skills or improving their physicality on the court or on the pitch? Um, as far as if we were talking basketball or any sport, you know, uh, you have to start from the ground on up, in which I tell my kids that, um, you know, footwork. I mean, it's easy to just go out and, you, and, and footwork, you know, hop on some lines, uh, just move your feet, make some rain with them. But, um, yeah, footwork, you know, ball activities. I know my son is doing, um, right now, he's doing um, challenges with the Irish team. And so, uh, you know, they have their Zoom meetings twice a week and, and they're going through dribbles and, and, and all that good stuff. So it's good to, uh, you know, if you have a ball, go out there and, and dribble the ball. The best way to, uh, to keep fit is actually a ball and just, you know, solo kick it against a wall, um, you know, but footwork and all that comes in handy when it's time to go back to playing sports. Um, you know, you could toss a ball up just sitting there watching TV. Right, and, and then you just get your uh, your hand and eye coordination and and your feeling for the ball. Many things that you can use around the house, like I said before, to get you ready. But I think uh, for the moment, uh, just taking the ball and uh, maybe working the ball. And but footwork for me would be the first. You know, and, and it's easy just go outside and see a line there. Just jump back and forth, side to side. You know, and then from there, just work from uh, from your legs on up. Yeah. So, and those, you know, those are simple things that you don't really need much equipment for. So that's the beauty of, uh, you know, of being at home and staying active, uh, active. But, you know, going for walks, a jog, bike rides, you know, those are other ways that, uh, you know, you can stay fit while you're at home. So, oh, but, yeah. You're saying there with, with dribbling and different stuff for, you don't necessarily need a basketball net. You're not saying to be working on your shooting all the time, that sometimes working on the basics of dribbling, your footwork will stand to you in when it comes back to game time. Yeah, I mean, doing, doing the basics, that's all you need to, do, uh, need to know. And I think a lot of kids, you know, because of the lockdown, they're thinking, oh, well, I'm unfit and, uh, you know, I haven't played basketball or football or Gaelic in a long time. You know, what am I going to do? It's, uh, I think for coaches, it's not going to be, uh, you know, when we come back or when we do go back to training, it's not like we're going to go straight at it and go hard at it. We got to, you know, take baby steps. And so I think uh, the baby steps is what the kids, uh, you know, should be probably be doing at home. You know, just taking the ball and just bouncing it, just bouncing it as you're watching TV. Um, you know, so, you know, baby steps. And in terms of, physicality food I know some of the games incorporated different exercises is there any exercises that you would recommend for young athletes to be doing at home to get themselves ready for the next season um it's just the normal exercises if you if you you know take the time to just uh, do some push-ups and setups and some planks um you know if, if it's raining outside you know those are the things that you, you could be doing planks are great you know working on your core uh, you know, then you have your push-ups and, and all that. Um, you know, you don't really need equipment to do that. You know, like I said, you could do some of the stuff, you know, if you're watching TV, there's a commercial or whatever it is, hop down, do a plank, do some planks, you know. And it, it's simple. And if you're looking at maybe just a few minutes a day or maybe twice a day. But, uh, you know, to be sitting at home and just being on the PlayStation, and, you know, and some of us get caught up in, in – in that PlayStation and then you say, oh, I'll just be on there for about 20 minutes and then two hours later, you're still there. Yeah. But, you know, I, I think, I think we, we've we been there. Yeah. So, you know, obviously, uh, you know, taking the time, um, you know, and just doing your workouts 
as you're waiting or maybe if you if you if you just want to do it in the morning and then at night that'll be even better you know just and then you have the middle of the day just to do whatever you want but as long as you fit in your workouts uh, you should be good to go be ready to, uh, you know you'll be ready by the time season starts back up yeah and obviously some people may not have that expertise in their household of doing different exercises and stuff but there's plenty of workouts online i know ourselves we have the beginners fitness and the beginners fitness classes that are on the youtube page and facebook people can do them and they can increase the difficulty it's only as hard as you make it you make it easier if you're finding it difficult you make it harder if you're finding it too easy obviously yeah. I made your videos and stuff so people who are struggling with in terms of what exercises to do can obviously just follow that and it will stand to them if to do it once once a day even if they can do it twice a day even better but it will stand to them whenever the games are back and whenever everything's kind of back to the new normal as they're saying today yeah you know it's um my son elijah as you know plays for the irish team um and he's gotten so physically strong in the break during the lockdown just because he took the time to start working out you know even more because he wanted to get better you know in basketball and all that but before the lockdown he could barely do maybe five push-ups and like he knew that but now he's busting out 20 30 you know because he's he's putting the time in putting the effort because he knows that he's not going anywhere so you might as well just work so he's putting in a lot of work and you know people have noticed and the thing about that is he's more advanced uh, say basketball wise and then you have say my daughter ilana who is trying to do the same as elijah and does not work that way you know and we go back to baby steps and then zariah will come along and try to do the same as ilana and doesn't work that way so it's just taking the time you know, the people are different in their ways of exercising. And just because, say, Alan is doing 20 push-ups, I'm going to think I'm going to do 20. If you can't do five, then, you know, you shouldn't push yourself to try 20. Just take those baby steps and, and work your way up there. So, you know, like age and, and all that, you know, comes comes to play when, when, uh, when you're looking at your idol or looking at somebody doing something that you want to do, but you can't do it, and then you get frustrated and quit. And so, you know, baby steps, five push-ups a day, you know, maybe start there. Then a week later or a few days later, try 10. If you can't do it, go back to five, work your way to eight and 10 and so forth and so on. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's always taking the time to get out there and, and be active. Yeah, it's, it's similar to myself and Lorcan did a previous podcast about different workouts and different activities that we're doing at home. But yeah. again, the sentiment is kind of coming through again of, starting is the best thing to do instead of saying i want to run a 5k try and run the 2k first and if you're able to do it then progress on and um, just start and setting an achievable target to start off with like you said there five ten push-ups if you can if it's only five that's fine stick with the five for a few weeks and build it up for even a week and see if you can go on further then but the yeah. main thing is start and get something done um, yeah. and your games are all available online on our youtube and our vimo pages also on the facebook page and um, thanks for joining me it's been a pleasure talking to you i hope the family's well and hopefully we'll get yeah. back to the normal soon well yeah thanks for uh, having me uh, always a pleasure and i'll do this again um yeah you can find our videos on uh, well, yeah on the facebook page so uh yeah check it out and and enjoy. Thanks, brother. All right.